Hello everyone, my name is Jakar Lewis and I'm the author of the Kisses series, T6 Math Edition. I know that many of you guys are struggling with the math portion of the T test, so today I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to successfully complete conversions within a system. When we talk about conversions within a system, for example, if I convert from kilometers to meters or from meters to centimeters, you notice that they have that word meters in common. That's going to be an example of a conversion within a system because I'm dealing with different parts of the same face. So the prefixes that you guys are going to be exposed to for this particular exam are going to include kilo, hecto, deca. We have a list of common bases that you guys may see, meters, liters, and grams. And then also followed by deci, centi, and milli. So in order for you guys to memorize these particular prefixes, we're going to use this acronym here, which some of you guys may be familiar with. And it's going to be King Henry Died by drinking chocolate milk. So if you guys notice, I underlined the first letter of each word, and that goes in conjunction with the prefixes. So king is going to be represented by kilo. Henry is going to be represented by hecto. Died is going to be represented by deca. Bi is going to represent any three of our bases, so understand that's going to be interchangeable. Drinking is going to represent desi. Chocolate is going to represent centi. And milk is going to represent milli. So when we talk about conversions within a system, for example, kilograms to grams or grams to milligrams, they both have grams in common. That's going to let you know that you're going to be working with conversions within a system. So for example, if I have 28 grams is equivalent to how many milligrams, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to identify our starting and our ending points based on the prefixes that we have. So if we have grams, I know that that's going to be my base unit. If I have milligrams, I know that I'm going to underline my M here for milli because these are going to be attached to our prefixes. Remember, we have King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. It's very important that you guys memorize that acronym so you understand where to move your decimal. So if we start with grams and we end with milligrams, what you're going to do is you're going to count how far apart our base is from our prefix milli. So we're going to go one, two, three three spaces to the right. So you don't count where you start, but you do count where you end. So from our value, if we have 28, that's the whole number, which means our decimal is at the end. We're gonna move our decimal one, two, three paces to the right. So because we have those empty scoops, we're gonna fill those with zeros, which means that 28 grams is gonna be equivalent to 28,000 milligrams. So just to run it back one more time, anytime we're completing conversions within a system, you always mark your starting point. So in this instance, we had grams, which is one of our base units, and we wanted to figure out how many mil milligrams that would be. So we counted one, two, three spaces to the right, which means that our decimal has to be moved one, two, three spaces to the right. And that's how we got 28 grams is equivalent to 28,000 milligrams. So if we go ahead and check out another example, All right, so this says 2.84 centimeters is equivalent to how many hectometers? So we're going to identify our starting and our ending point. So we're going to start at centimeters. We're going to end at hectometers. So first things first is we need to figure out how far apart these two prefixes are going to be. So we're going to count one, two, three, four spaces to the left. So that means that our decimal has to be moved four spaces to the left. So when we do our math... Because we can actually see where the decimal is in this instance, we start from here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four spaces to the left. Because we have those empty scoops, we have to add zeros as placeholders. So that means in this instance, 2.84 centimeters is going to be equivalent to 0.000284. So as you guys can see, if you master this particular acronym, the only thing you have to do is move your decimal left or right, depending on what you're converting from. In this particular instance, because we went from centimeters to hectometers, we had to move to the left 
four spaces. So that concludes our review on convergence within a system. For additional practice, click the link located in the description box down below to purchase our top rated workbook featuring over 1400 practice questions designed specifically for the math portion of the T's test. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to my mini review today. Make sure you guys hit the like button for me. Drop me some feedback down below in the comments as to how I can better assist you guys in prepping for the math portion of your T's test. And most importantly, make sure you guys head on over to my channel, click subscribe, and don't forget to ding the little bell so that you guys can keep up with all of my updates. Once again, my name is Jakara Lewis. I'm the author of the Kisses Series T6 Math Edition, and I'll see you guys next time.